I left um, on June 6th. My wife had my child on June 12th. Wow. It's a hell of a week. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was a hell of a week. But at the same time, I knew that. And I knew that I'd worked 307 days a year before. Yeah. And I sat there and year after year in cars and some guy would come sit in the back seat and just sit back and open a beer and go, wow, man, my kid walked today. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to be that dad. No. Right. I, I read a, a thing that was on a, it was on the WWE uh, webpage, and they were talking to Dean Malenko. Mm. And Dean Malenko said that, you know, that when Nash and Hall came, it was like the worst. Like it was, like it was he was miserable at work. Like all of a sudden, it became a horrible place. I'm thinking, so you guys went from, like, doing Nitro at the Mall of America <laughs> <laughs> to, like, to, to the Georgia Dome. You were making $60,000. Now you're making 275000 And your work schedule's cut in half. Yeah, I could see how that would suck. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. fact that you're no longer featured <laughs> might not be exactly great. But, you know, you give me $2 million and tell me to be the, the fry boy at McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll stay after and clean up. <laughs> so, I don't know. And did you get a lot of the resentment from those outside the NWO that just, oh, yeah. uh, you know, if, I take it, you, you'd think that was jealousy, sheer, sheer envy? It was just the wait, wait. the thing was that, that all those guys like we, like we had like the greatest probably collection of pure wrestling workers that the, the, the that will ever be you know mm. from Ultimate Dragon to you know Mysterio to, I mean we had just yeah and the thing was that the first hour of the show they basically went out and let those guys have matches but would talk about. The, you know, the storyline of the NWO throughout their match and then go, oh, I'm near fall. <laughs> you know, they just kind of used it as filler. Yeah. But it, but it was such, you know, great television as far as optically watching wrestling. And it was, you know, so it was. And I didn't make that call. I mean, I wasn't in the yeah. truck. So, but, you know, I was sitting there with Randy and them drinking. But, uh <laughs> <laughs> I heard they had great matches. <laughs> no, but it's just it's one of those things that everybody yeah. points fingers at everybody else and you know and you know like there's like books that are actually have been written that says that I killed WCW. You know, and it's just like it had nothing to do with the the, the fact that there was a, you know, the, the dot com crash was at the mm. same time AOL was a dot com. The stock went from seventy dollars to eleven. Yeah. yeah. And not only not only did I kill WCW, but with my, my booking I also made them sell the Braves. <laughs> <laughs> Phillips yeah. Arena, you know. You destroyed every, every, the yeah. city of Atlanta. As I say, like, <laughs> from, from from a poor from a, from a poor kid that grew up on the south side of Detroit in an eight hundred square foot house, I did more destruction than Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's something there's a quote you should have. Yeah, I Kevin should, Nash I, does more destruction than Hitler. It's going to be the beginning of my book. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs>